Greetings everyone, my name is Alstar and you're probably wondering why we are in Red Alert 2 main menu. No, this is not the start of the original Red Alert 2 campaign. Not yet. Not this time. However, something really nice was released at the start of this year. And I'm talking about the Mad HQ's remastered maps for the Red Alert 2 campaign. So, because it was brought to me attention by one of the Discord users named Morton. Shout out to this guy as well. I decided to give this campaign a go because the maps change a lot and apparently difficulty also is very modified. I did some play some test runs and the mission 2 actually has some difficulty to it until I realized I can just spam tanks. What the f lol. Still a lot of modified maps, they are based on the real life locations, you will probably see that in the map 1, well, you will see for yourself. The question is, should I actually keep up with the cutscenes, because I have them enabled, should I skip them or not, this will be up to you. I will however leave the first video with the cutscenes, you can decide if you want to see cutscenes or not. So without further ado, let's go into new campaign. Difficulty hard as always, let's and let's select Allied campaign. I was still quiet for the cutscene as well. Commander, good morning. We've successfully instituted the President's Emergency Lazarus Protocol. I'm Lieutenant Eva, the intel officer assigned to your command. And since you're the only commander left alive, I guess I'm pretty lucky to have a job. It appears that we have suffered a full-scale Soviet invasion. Nearly all our major cities are under siege and our forces are in complete disarray. Please stand by, Commander. We have an incoming broadcast from General Carville at the Pentagon. I hope you're rested and ready, Commander, because as of 0800 hours, you are in control of every satellite, base, tank, airplane, enlisted man, woman, and child in the eastern United States. You answer to the President, and you answer to me. Your ops officer and vital lifeline will be the lieutenant. Your point man for this mission will be Special Agent Tanya. General, I hope the commander is up to speed because we don't have time to waste. I'm sure Tanya has every confidence in you, Commander. Oh, you're sure? Well, it's not your life that's on the line out here. <laughs> She's the best there is, but you'll get along better with the Soviets. You'll get started immediately. First stop, New York. The lieutenant will give you the details. Not long ago, the Soviets made an amphibious landing on Manhattan Island and are using their ground troops to systematically take over the city. Fortunately, we still have a hold on Fort Bradley, but our comlink has been severed. If you can get Agent Tanya into Bradley, she will re-establish the link. Good luck, Commander. So there we go, and pay no mind to the black tiles you can see right now, it's just a graphical error, it always happens for me. But you can probably see... Alright, I'll say in a second. Tanya here. Listen up, we got a couple commie dreadnoughts in the harbor, looking for a special sightseeing tour of the Hudson River. I say we give them a very special view of the bottom first. Control online. You can see that Statue of Liberty is finally on an island, not connected to the mainland. That's a really nice change, because it's like that in the real life as well. There's also one more thing. I will play those missions on a faster speed, because the maps are just so massive that going through the entire map in this mission took me about seven minutes and there was no action so I just wanted to mitigate for that. Subjectives are follows. Destroying all of the dreadnoughts are first. Let's take out the troops. Two remaining dreadnoughts will follow. With that I should get access available. Though all those GIs should be available for me. I'm gonna group them up. They're not gonna be that much useful after this part. Where's the party? Take it, baby. And you can see there's Scarif coming and 
well. Just like in the main campaign, the statue was destroyed by a VT rocket. Here it will be actually destroyed by Kiros. A nice change. After that, there is nothing much to do in this island, and I will I shut will up. I offer a special invitation to citizens of the United States from the Great Soviet you Union. Baby? See your liberty, how she lies broken before you. In but a moment's time, your once powerful city of New York will follow in her footsteps. The choice is yours. You can continue to mourn your past, Any or surrender, there, and join us in the Great Soviet Revolution. Doesn't sound good, sir. We're going to have to double time the rest of the way to reach Fort Bradley in time. Take it, New train discovered. The second I'm objective there. is re uh, reinforcing the Fort Bradley. Show it's really actually up. very... <laughs> tedious job if I have to be honest because it takes a lot of time to actually get there I'm not sure if there's actually a tank reinforcement group just like in the normal map but I will look for them maybe there's something around here come on take out the troops Take it, and I'll move those guys into the McBurger clank so they can actually secure this area and stop any power drops from coming further. So yeah, this is going to be a very long walk. I'm gonna quickly take a look if I can catch something important. Maybe there are the tanks. I wish there are tanks. On my way. I'm there. Moving out, boss. Take it, baby. I'm on it. I do hear Kiros though. Is this area with the crates? On my way. Take it, baby. On my way. Not really. On my way. Yeah, there it is. On my way. Unit armor upgraded. On there. Unit armor upgraded. Any tanks around here? I can go either for the city or for the bridge. I actually decide to go for the bridge. There's much less to see if I have to be honest. I think this bridge is actually destroyed. Yeah, it actually is. Thanks for telling me that right now Eva it will be a very valuable information a couple seconds ago minutes so you can see Kuros are still flying her all around the city Tanya can just melt infantry shred them to pieces so I guess I will be forced to move through the city and it's going to be a long walk so there's not really much to do so I'm gonna talk about the missions it's actually fascinating because it wasn't something I expected to come out this early. There was one set of missions I wanted to try and it was revert missions from the Tordor. But there's so far no sign about this. And it's actually one of the projects I've been eagerly waiting for. So I think I have to satisfy myself with this map pack. The quality of the maps is actually really good. I I did play a couple of them, it was quite enjoyable experience, but in some places it was slightly infuriating, if I have to be honest. Especially in the third map, because now we are facing three enemies at once, and all of them actually spam, so you have to be really fast in your movements if you want to clear the map. Or of course you can just waste 56 Harriers to just break through the line and well just avoid everything and attack the beacon from the safe angle. Which is not really that safe because you need 56 Harriers just to break through. They're turning over control of the base and its troops to you. 
In so you get access to the base. Mission. It's time to make barracks. Good work, Commander. We're back in contact with the fort. Tanya has I'm sent over go. intel on the location of an important Soviet supply base in the area. General Carville would like you to dispose of it ASAP. Oh, keep up the good work, sir. Sir, yes, sir. This is a new Watch out for those petroleum barrels. They seem I got to myself. I actually forgot what I was talking about. That's actually sad. Unit ready. Unit promoted. Unit lost. Uh, don't think I can actually get veterans in those guys. Maybe I can. Let's see. Unit promoted. It would be really nice because then they can outrange the sentry guns. Speaking of which, unit promoted. Orders moving out. Enemy that will grant a veterans to at least one. Unit promoted. Structure abandoned. Let's do it. Orders oh, they got actually evi evicted from the Magurgis camp. That's garrison. really sad. Unit promoted. Unit speed. All no more room. Ramirez protect the Burger Town means. Let's grab those guys and take out the sentry. That was quite easy, I have to be honest. Okay, you guys wipe out the remaining forces here. Tanya will remove the Cognard and remaining, fo remaining structures. And that's gonna be a last power plant. Primary objective achieved. Mission accomplished. So, as I said, it was actually a pretty... Well, stale map, but it gets better with time. Of course, links to the map pack will be in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and see you guys soon.